and Monday marked uh, half a century since the death of the Cold War revolutionary icon uh, Ernesto Che Guevara and Cuba celebrated him with ceremonies. But for the first time, Guevara is being remembered in Bolivia, the same nation that executed him. Here's a look at his life. In the Cuban capital of Havana, it's not uncommon to find people making a living selling T-shirts and posters of the late Argentine revolutionary Ernesto Che Guevara. In fact, 50 years after he was killed by the Bolivian army, Guevara's bearded, unkempt visage looks out of not only T-shirts and posters, he also features on designer Louis Vuitton handbags. Online magazine DaysDigital.com did a search on Che Guevara on eBay and got a staggering 26,000 responses featuring him on everything from flags to iPhone cases, cigarette lighters to wallets. What explains his iconic status? Revolutionaries, socialists and historians see Guevara as different from others of that time. If Lenin, Mao and Vietnam's Ho Chi Minh were true blue communists, Guevara's ideology centered on the liberation of Latin America from feudal corrupt state structures. His socialism was not of the Soviet variety. He's known to have denounced Soviet-style socialism. He saw Soviets as people who would eventually return to capitalism. When Fidel Castro moved closer to the Soviets, Guevara quit the government and returned to his revolutionary roots. He led rebel movements in Congo and then in Bolivia. Guevara would probably have been appalled at the Cuban government's decision to restore ties with the US. His family certainly is. As Che always said, you can't give an inch to Yankee imperialism, not even a little. Guevara's younger brother summed up his thinking, but revolutions are not for the weak, and Guevara was not weak. We were a family with very little means, very limited finances, but at the very same time very studied, very cultured, very politically minded, very prone to break established structures, but in no oligarchical way, quite the opposite. We were against the idea of oligarchy and aristocracy. His detractors accuse him of personally executing people deemed enemies of the state or those who fell out of political favor. He helped set up a repressive police state in Cuba. It is said that he set up the first labor camp for dissidents. Guevara had apparently described a revolutionary as a killing machine motivated by pure hate, which underscores the point that Che Guevara was many things. Leader and revolutionary hero, yes, perhaps even a killing machine, albeit on t-shirts and posters. Bureau Report, Weon.